Hello everyone, this is Dial 20 and welcome to episode 143 of Dial 20's Let's Play series, uh, where today I've got kind of a plan, uh, kind of a neat idea that I want to try. It's a little different from what I've done in the past, but also similar to things I've done in the past. So I've, I keep trying to do new things in this series, and hopefully uh, I will succeed. We'll see how this how this turns out. Uh, I want to visit the Twilight Forest, a thing we've done plenty of times. However, I'm going to limit myself by only allowing me to use items from magic-based mods while in the Twilight Forest. So I'm gonna focus on like the Ars Nouveau spellbook uh, to be my primary you know, method of, of, of doing things in there. Uh, I'm gonna get like the air sigil for traveling around. I wanna check out the Alf Blade from Mythic Botany. Uh, and I'm gonna use Ars Nouveau's new enchanting system to enchant uh, the Ars Nouveau armor. So like the armor I'm wearing will be magic based. The weapons I use will be magic based. I'll use some spells. Anything that I wanna do in this uh, should be should be magical based, basically, is what it comes down to. Uh, and that's kind of the goal we're going to try out. So we'll explore Twilight Forest, but with a magical focus. And we'll kind of, you know, because it's kind of a magically kind of mod, right? So I feel like that's an appropriate course of action. That sounds like fun, I hope. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I think somebody in the in the comments on yesterday's video or the previous Let's Play series suggested going with like a strictly magic based approach, and I was like, you know what? That sounds like a cool idea. I like that idea. So that's what we're gonna do, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna put away my mecha suit. Goodbye, mecha suit. Sorry. Nice knowing you. Now a few things I'm gonna keep like like the meat feeder. Like I don't need to be eating out there, right? Um, and and the and the memory stick. That's fine. I'm gonna get rid of my angel ring because I don't want an I don't want I don't want creative mode flight uh, while I'm out there. Everything else is magic that's on me, except for, like, the, the meat feeder. But I think I, that's okay, right? It's just me not having to eat. It's not that. It's not that OP, right? Oh, my goodness, I'm already slow. I already can feel how slow I am. I'm moving very slowly. Why did I agree to this? Whose idea was this? I don't even know. But anyway, uh, that's the plan, right? So we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gear up with the Ars Nouveau stuff. Uh, I might use uh, some Naturist, like, I don't know figure it out but i do want to check out first and foremost i want to make the alf blade from mythic botany because that kind of ties into what we were working on last episode anyway uh and it looks like a really powerful weapon i'm not gonna lie then i want to get into the enchanting apparatus from ars nouveau because it looks like i think this is new oh wrong book <laughs> wrong book sorry just shooting fireballs around um it looks like the enchanting system allows you to pick which enchants you want which is kind of cool um so you can add new enchants or upgrade existing ones. Uh, however, each time, if you want to get like, you know, for example, Smite 3, you have to have Smite 2. So in order to get Smite 2, you have to get Smite 1. So you have to incrementally add uh, your enchantment levels. Not a big deal, but it definitely looks like, you know, another way that we can pick and choose which enchant we get, which I'm all for, right? I'm all for that. Um, now that's interesting. So quick charge. I'm just curious, like, are is it is it picking up, you know, yeah, I'm um, not too sure. It doesn't look like it's picking up non-vanilla slash Ars Nouveau uh, enchants, right? Which is fine. So, like, if there's an enchant that you want, you know, for example, from Thermal. Let's see. Uh, Therm uh, that's Mythic Botany, actually. So, yeah, Hammer Mobility, right? That's not on the list. So, it looks like it's, it's not automatically checking all the enchants that are available out there. But still... You know, the enchants that I'm probably going to want to put on this armor is mostly going to be vanilla stuff, right? Like, I want some protection going on. I wouldn't mind sharpness on my alf blade, right? Like, that kind of stuff is what I think we're going to go for. And I'm also going to want to throw mana, storage, and regen because a lot of my um, combat-based stuff will absolutely be in the form of, of Ars Nouveau magic and maybe a couple other magical things. So let's start step one. Uh, do we have any Terra Steel? We don't. All right, so then what we're going to want... Uh, from Batania is a couple of you and a couple of you and a couple of you. Uh, let's get ourselves some some Terra Steel real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Turn off the magnet there just to be safe. Hey, did I turn off the magnet? Yeah, I did. Okay. So that's gonna get me the Terra Blade, right? There you are, sir. Along with a living wood twig, not a big deal. Easy peasy. 
Sweet. So the Terror Blade, good. Remote Paranoia. Arm yourself with a weapon made of Terror Steel. Sweet. Uh, and then we can upgrade this guy in a smithing table with Alf Steel. So remember, we're going to need Elementium, Pixie Dust, and Dragonstone. Right? Uh, Elementium, Pixie Dust, and Dragonstone. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sweet. And then you guys can go away because you're good and done here. And remember, that's a ton of mana that's required. But that's okay because we've got a ton of mana. Hooray! And if we're really concerned about how much mana we have, we could always drop a couple nether stars in that chest over there. And that'll be sure to get us up and running. You do thing. You do thing. Okay, good. So then we want our uh, smithing table, which I think I've put away think I've put away. I'm just going to plop it down wherever, because it's one of those, like, use it once and then you don't need it no more thing. Alright, so hey, there is an elf blade. Sweet. Looks really neat. Excited to try it out. For sure. Things like the magnet I'll keep, like, on hand, right? Like, there's no reason not to have a... Um, the bow of Atlantis, is that... Is that technically... Uh, I mean, it's not a tech mod. It's not a magic mod. It's neither, really. We'll see about the bow. We'll see about the bow. What other bow options do we have? Because I definitely want to make sure that whatever I'm doing... You know what? There's the Enchanter's bow from Ars Nouveau. Hmm. Hmm. That could be fun. Doesn't that just shoot, like, spells or something? Something, something, Enchanter's bow? Is that new? I don't know. I always forget. Ooh, there's new bows from the... I don't recognize these bows. Are these new? What's up with these bows? Since when did Twilight Forest have these bows that look super cool? I don't know. Maybe I'll get a bow in the Twilight Forest. That could be neat. That could be neat. So anyway. Whoa, what is that? What does that do? What's this projectile? The Alf Blade. I might need to, uh... I might need to look into this. A huge horde of raiders is coming from the southeast. You know what? Sounds like a good time. I'm gonna actually get my angel ring so that I can... Well, you know, maybe I don't need to get my angel ring. Let's go check it on Dire Colony real quick. We're gonna check out this new Alf Blade that we've got. Sands. So southeast, it said, right? So that would be this direction. Yeah, that's what it said, right? South slash east. Why are there so many red dots over there? They should be coming from this direction, no? Barbarians, southeast. There we go. What's up, barbarians? This is just practice for what's about to come. What do we got going on here, folks? He'll be back. Might not take much damage here. I mean, I know I'm wearing, like, my cool armor and stuff, but... I might take him so little damage. I thought I would be, like, more hurting here. And remember, this this weapon is not in any way enchanted. Hooray! I did the thing. Uh, wow, that's just a lot of junk, isn't it? That is a lot of junk. Inventory clean. Oh, one more. Cool. Not a bad weapon. Not a bad weapon. How much health damage does this do? Mr. Horse, you've got that many hearts. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. I was just curious, like, what that project projectile-y thing does. Neato. All right, cool. Um, so we've got the Alf Blade ready to roll. I do want to enchant him, though. So that means we're going to want to check out the enchanting apparatus from Ars Nouveau. I think this is new? Is this new? Did we have this before? We're going to we're gonna have to take a quick peek. What do we got over here? We've got a glyph press, right? And we've got the... We do have an enchanting apparatus in here. Okay, cool. So we already have that up and running, so that's neat. Uh, let's check out how to enchant. Did I do this already? Because I feel like enchanting up right. I think this is all new. I think this whole thing is new. There's a change log out here. 
um, release notes, and you can check out like what happened in each version. Um, yeah, I don't know when enchanting got added, but it's added. How to enchant. Um, to begin, select a level one enchant and add items to the pedestals. Place a jar of mana nearby and use items you want to enchant on the apparatus. The apparatus may only apply enchants that are valid to the item you have given it. Cool. So let's try, let's try sharpness. Cool, we're gonna give that a shot. So sharpness is, aha. Uh -huh. We're gonna need a glyph of amplify, okay. That's fine. But you start off with a block of quartz, lapis, and mana gem. So, so a couple blocks of quartz. I'm just getting a bunch here. Doesn't matter. Some lapis. Some mana gems. Right? So two quartz. And this. And then we put our thing in there. That's cool. That's cool. And that gets you sharpness one. Okay, cool. And then to get sharpness two, it's the exact same thing again. And I want obviously sharpness five, so that's what we're gonna work towards. Sweet, all right. So then sharpness three needs a glyph of amplify. So we're gonna need in total five glyphs of amplify. Five glyphs of amplify. Uh, so that is magic clay and a diamond in a glyph press. So we're gonna want five diamonds and five magic clay. Yeah, no, I have a few, but I'm not too worried about it. So let's just get our five glyphs of Amplify and then we'll go from there. Cool. So you and you. Meow. I love the models and the animations in this mod. It is 100% the coolest, right? Like, look how cool that is. It's so good. Not too shabby. All right, Glyph Press. One more of these for me, please. And then, so Sharpness 5. Uh, so three is just, all right, so then two quartz and a lapis, two quartz and a lapis and two, two quartz, two lapis and two, okay. Two quartz, hey, wrong thing. Wrong thing, sir. There you go, and that should be three, right? And then two amplifies on this one. There you go. And then two quartz, two lapis, two amplify. That's not bad. Nice. And then you've got sharpness five. That's awesome. Look at it go. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to get looting on here. And what other enchants might I want on a sword? Like, we definitely want looting, right? Looting would be cool. Uh, so I'm going to get those guys, looting three. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six glyphs of fortune. Uh, and I'm going to do some more of this off camera just because, like, you guys don't need to see this ad nauseum, right? Like, I think you got the impression, right? Marvelous clay and a rabbit's foot. That's actually a really good question. I wonder if I captured a rabbit in a mob imprisonment tool. So here's my question to you folks. If I went and found a rabbit, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna wanna keep on my my quantum armor for a few minutes at least. Just so I can prep using oh, that's right, I need my angel ring too. Don't die. We'll take it off when it's when it's time. But at least for now, I wanna go find a rabbit. Is that a rabbit? It looks like a rabbit. Come here, sir. I know, run away. Can I put you guys in the field over here and get rabbit's feet from you? Would that be uh, a thing that can happen? That's a question, actually. It looks like it. They're getting purple particle effects. Right? Will I get rabbit's feet from that? I mean, I guess we'll find out. 
we just chill for a minute, maybe we'll get more rabbit, either raw rabbit or rabbit's feet. If not, then we're just going to have to, you know, do something to get rabbit's feet. We'll figure it out. Just trying to be, you know, a little friendly. A little animal friendly there. All right. So I'm going to do that. Uh, let's let's just pick out what other enchants I might want, right? So looting, obviously. Um, I don't know that we need too much else. I don't know that we need too much else. Sharpness and looting are like the two main ones you would want on a sword, right? Yeah. A sword that doesn't break, we don't have to worry about efficiency or none of that stuff. Or, uh, I mean, unbreaking or whatever. I don't usually like fire aspects on my sword. All right, so let's do that, and then I'm going to enchant my armor here with some protection, right? I'll do a, a couple of protections, a projectile protection, maybe a, an explosion protection, we'll see. And uh, I want to throw mana boost and mana regen on a lot of my armor. Um, so we'll see about that as well. So I will be back in a few minutes. What's a source berry? Do we have source berries? What's a source berry? Where do we get those from? Just curious what a source berry bush is. In taiga biomes and produce source berries. A source berry can be used to craft a potion of matter generation. Cool. So in taiga biomes, we're gonna have to find one of them. It maybe, we'll see. Worst case, I can also just use my normal enchanting table and process that I've been doing over here to get, you know, some manas. Do we even have some mana stuff already? I think I burned a lot of my enchanted books because remember I was using them for something something else. Yeah, so no worries, we'll figure it out. All right, I will be back in just a minute. So a rabbit hide showed up in my AE system. Did we have that before? I'm trying to remember if we did. I don't know. But I'm not I'm not loving how much the rabbit thing is working. It's not very fast, whatever it is. We'll have to see. I'll be back. All I'm going to say is rabbit feet are rare. That's all. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's all. Did we get any? Uh, we're getting rabbit. We're getting raw rabbits. So that's working. I just feel like rabbit feet are super rare. So, you know, we had to, we had to do another thing. Anyway, back in a few, I'm going to get this enchanted marvelous clay, huh? Uh, we're going to want more of you, sir. You can just get a stack of those without too much sweat, right? So we wanted five of those, right? Uh, six of these, marvelous. We want one more of those because we wanted six in total. And yeah, I'll be back. Quick note, I always mix up fortune and looting, as you guys know. But the recipe is the same. It's still the, the glyph of fortune, uh, but you need emeralds instead of uh, diamonds. So that would be four emeralds, two glyphs. And then you two. Cool. And then the last one will be the three glyphs with two lapis blocks. And the emerald block. Sweet! There you go. Looting three for all the manas. Awesome. So that's a nice, that's a nice bit of awesomeness right there. Cool. All right. So I'm going to hang on to that sword. That might be my primary sword for a while, to be honest with you. Because look at that. Look at just all that awesomeness right there. 16 attack damage. 6.4 attack speed. That's pretty cool. That might be my primary sword going forward. We'll see. Uh, but now I want to get protection and mana stuff on my Archmage gear. So <sighs> baiting if I just want to do it the old-fashioned way. Just because it's a little bit tedious. Uh, doing it the the not old-fashioned way, but we'll see. We'll see. It's it, there's a there's a lot of steps to this Right, there's a lot of steps to this That I'm not sure I love because you have to do each individual one. So like we're gonna need like to apply uh, You know mana times three regen times three protection times five like we're gonna have to do like ten Iterations of this per piece of armor maybe even more so I'm not sure how I feel about it. I might go the old-fashioned way. All right, I think I've got a pretty good combination here. That's protection four. Let's see. So I've got mana boost three, mana boost three, 
Mana boost three. I'm gonna put mana regen on this one. All right, so my, my combination of enchants that I've gone for here, mostly by what I got from luck, but also, you know, realigning a few and just tweaking a few. So I've got blast protection four and mana boost three. So that should give me a lot more mana, right? Um, I don't think there's a numerical value on my mana ever. Not in this one, right? Mana boost three. Fire protection and mana boost. Regular protection and mana boost. And then regular protection again and mana regen. So we're, we're pretty well protected against things like fire and blast. And then I don't have any ranged protection, but I'm not gonna lose sleep over that. That's fine. Cool. I think that was a little bit, uh, you know, more RNG, obviously, but a little bit quicker than the other process, right? So I think that's cool. And I can get rid of my angel ring at this point. Right, um, so we've got a decentish bow. You know, I want to put this away. I want to make sure all my stuff is here. I want to do. I do want my arcane ashes. Uh, we can re-equip our our memory, dude, because we said we're not gonna, you know, care too much about that. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Before we go, I want the air sigil, if I may, and I do like the sigil of the blood lamp to be a thing as well. Um, so let's get our air sigil. Right, so air. Sigil was also on my to-do list here. So that's going to be an air reagent, which is an alchemy table gas here and two feathers. So we luckily have a gas here and a couple of feathers. We have a lot of those, 3,000. <laughs> did I laugh out loud super hard there? Yeah, I totally did. Let me borrow you for a moment, sir. Boom. Cool. And that'll get me my that. And then we're going to also need a reinforced slate. There you are. Auto crafting for the win. That's what's up, right? And then you're ready to go. And then we can quickie do that and the slate combo. You're going to go back in there to recharge the, the stuff. And that'll get me my air sigil, which is definitely one of my favorite magical-based ways of getting around. Um, this thing is cool. Every time you right-click, you get like a little burst. It's not as fast as it used to be. Didn't it used to be more than that? I feel like it used to be a little bit more of a burst there. Now you are gonna wanna watch for fall damage. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, no, fall damage is 100% of things. So we're gonna wanna be very careful about that. We've spent like 100 episodes now not caring about fall damage. We're gonna wanna be exceedingly careful about that. So let's just be exceedingly careful. Like That's all I can say. Let's watch out for fall damage, right? Um, now what other things might I want to put in this book before we go? So I definitely like the Ignite spell. That's the one that does some, some decent damage here, right? Uh, Ignite and Flare and a few Amplifies. That's cool. I also wouldn't mind a Self-Regen. Do we have Regeneration of some kind? Grow, Dispel, Delay. Is there a Regen? Is there a Regeneration? I think there's a Heal, right? Let's check out the Ars Nouveau book just to see what kind of spells might be available. Heal? There's a heal. I don't know if there's a regen though. There's mana regen, but heal is probably what I want. Heals a small amount of health for the target when used with extend time. The regeneration buff is applied instead up to level five. When used on undead, the spell will deal an equal amount of magic damage. Ho oh, ho, okay. So extend time, regen, is applied instead up to level five. So let's see, Marvelous Clay and Glistening Melon Slice. Do we already have heal? Oops, do we have heal already? I wish, oh, you can search, that's cool. So we don't. So we want a Glistening Melon Slice. And it was Marvelous Clay, right? Was what we wanted there. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, and then we unlock teal, nice. So if we create spell two, we call it regen, and we do self, heal, with an extend time buff. We're just gonna try, try this one. So that gave me regen one. So if I throw another couple extend time buffs on there, I gotta imagine that's just gonna extend the time of it. And then if we want four amplifies, What's that do? Regen five. Nice. That's a little something. That's a little something something I like. 
All right, so we've got a nice regeneration buff that we can get on ourselves. That's cool. Uh, I love the idea of summoning Vex. That's that's a good time right there. Oh, it's a projectile Vex summon. Okay, I mean, I'm cool with that. That's neato. And I'm assuming they'll just attack any monsters that are near me. Okay, what else did we have in our book here? Withering? Does that just apply the withering effect to whatever the projectile hits? That's cool. Intangible lets me walk through walls. Uh, I don't know that I need a projectile dispel. Does that make sense? I don't think so. So I'll just clear that one out. Self dispel we can keep. Okay. Uh, are there any other spell effects that we would want to have here? You know, there's one I think that's new that I wanted to check out. Decoy? Is that what it's called? Uh, Glyph of Summon Decoy. It's Mythical Clay with an Armor Stand. Mythical Clay with an Armor Stand. What does this one do? I think it's a Tier 3 spell based on the Mythical clay ness of it. Summon decoy of yourself. Upon summoning, the decoy will attract any nearby mobs to attack. It does not apply summoning sickness. Sweet. That's cool. Uh, so let's unlock that dude. So what I want it to be... Let's make it number six. Yeah, we'll do number six. Is it self-summon decoy? Would that be cool? Or do I want... You know what would be fun would be projectile summon decoy. So it'll land... So it like summons it wherever the projectile spell hits. Boom. Hey, it's me! It's even wearing my armor! That's cool! That is awesome! How long does he last for? Oh, and he walks around? That's even better. That's even better. That is cool. I, am, I imagine it would be... I, I imagine something different. But look at him, he's even holding my sword. How neat is that? Now, can I have multiples of these dudes? Oh my goodness, that is cool. <laughs> Nobody show this to Soren. <laughs> Nobody tell Soren about this spell. Nobody, nobody tell him. And I'm assuming extend time, but I don't know even I need it. Right? I don't even know that I need it. Would Amplify even do anything on this? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I can't imagine Amplify does anything here, right? Okay. Well, that's a neat ability. I like that a lot, actually. Um, I'm just going to name you Decoy, and that's awesome sauce. I like it. I like it. All right, what else? Uh, so we've got healing for ourselves. We've got ignite. Um, there was some kind of shield ability too, wasn't there? Wasn't there a shield glyph? What's that do? Applies the shield buff. This buff will reduce a flat amount of damage taken from magical and physical sources. Does not reduce damage from environmental sources. That could be neat. I'm not sure how much it protects, but let's try it out. Marvelous Clay with a shield. I just want to try it because it sounds cool. And we didn't have this one already, right? Nope. And you know what we should do also? We should do, a, we should do a sprinting spell. Yeah, we should do like a speed spell. Don't we have one of those already? Dispel, isn't there like a speed? Isn't that what it's called? Yes, Glyph of Speed. We're going to want that one, too, while we're at it. What was it? Glyph of Speed was Magic Clay. Well, actually, we have some right here. Perfect. Yeah, Speed Boost for the target. So, how about eight can be speed. We're going to just toy with this one for a minute. So self speed create. That's just going to give me speed one. Now how high can we amplify that? Oh boy, speed four. Speed eight. Can you really go that high? That's awesome. Speed nine. Doesn't seem that fast though, does it? Am I really running at speed nine? It doesn't seem like speed nine. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's okay. But it is not great, not terrible kind of situation. If 
doesn't seem that fast, does it? I mean, I'm used to I'm used to the the, the mechanism armor stuff. This doesn't seem all that fast. It's okay. It's okay. Let's check out shield while we're at it. So I'm gonna apply that again to self shield create. So what's this give me? Magic shield. Magic shield five. I don't see any reason not to augment it like crazy, right? Magic shield nine. I have no idea how much armor this actually applies. Now just for funsies, what if we gave it two extend times? Uh, I think we have to wait until the nine wears off. Or you know what I could do? Dispel and then shield myself. That's 45 seconds, right? And if we Thirty seconds. Eh, you know, thirty seconds should be enough. I feel like thirty seconds is enough. Yeah, the trick will be: is there like a, is there like a options, controls, category R's, toggle selection HUD H. Yes, that's what I wanted. I knew there was something. There was one of these. Sweet. I like it. Okay, cool. Cool. Key G, what do I have G set to? Anchor there? I think I'm gonna remove that. I want you to be G. So like, it's a little bit closer to like, oh, look at that, you just, you just, you don't have to hold it. Oh, that's neat. You don't have to hold it, it pops up, and then you click to close the, okay, that's cool. I like that a lot, actually. I mean, I feel like I'm running pretty fast, but not that fast. I'm not blown away by the speed here. You know what I could do? Is there some kind of jumping buff? Jump glyph? Is it leap or something like that? Uh, let's let's look through here. Uh, I assume that's a tier one spell. Let's see, craft, cut, delay, dispel. Launch? No, leap? No. I'm not seeing anything that sounds like a jump kind of buff, right? <clears throat> yeah. Me. Yeah. All right, I think we're cool. I think we're good. So we've got spells, we've got nice thing, we've got fly through air ability, magic based. Right? Anything else we might want to go and prepare ourselves for before we go into the Twilight Forest. Nothing comes to mind, but I will think about it between episodes. So I'm going to wrap up here. That's been enchanting with Ars Nouveau, prepping a bunch of spells, getting the off blade, enchanting it, being ready for uh, uh, what I hope will be a fun time. Uh, but for now, it's wrapping up point. So Dial 20 signing off. We will come back next time. We'll open the portal to the Twilight Forest. We'll head in there and we'll see what kind of fun can be had. All right, guys, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.